Hey, Scorpio. He seem a little whoo. Anyway, you guys probably don't like that, so I won't do it. But anyway, hey guys, this is LT Tarot doing um, your August 2019 love reading. So I already pulled the cards out. I don't want to keep you guys long. I want to be respectful of your time. I love uh, readings that get to the point, and I ain't got to keep here or sit here and watch a long video. You get to your point within 10 minutes. Well, anyway, guys, if you haven't already, please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Also, this is a general reading, and if you feel like this reading resonates, or if you feel like it doesn't resonate, you can actually book a reading on my on the link below. On the link below, what's going to happen is, is that you can click on there, and I have readings starting at $5. So, that means everybody can afford a reading, because they start at $5. It's depending on how in-depth you want your reading to be. So anyway, like I said, I can keep you long, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, first thing first, you got the healer of the ages. I mean, heal, yeah, healer of the ages. So this is like the Jesus figure. So you guys are coming in as a God. And it's coming in as a God that likes to heal, you know, um, even though your um your water you got a little fireness into you you know like maybe you got a little temper or something but you but even regardless of that you're still a healer and you're still coming in as a god um people have to recognize that you scorpio is a god honey the next thing is that even though you're coming in as a god and this is your love reading and this is your overall energy so you know like your god like you know and it's like you're overcoming adversity this is the thing, a person who's overcame adversity is kind of looking back um looking back or looking over his life or looking over the situation and learning everything that you can learn from the situation so and you're probably doing that because bam you are a god well anyway So that's your energy. So you also are, have the sun. You may be dealing with a Leo here, you know. Um, but I feel like um, in this situation is is that you're looking for good, happy things, or you wanted happy things in your life, and um, you're looking for a positive outcome. But it's like you almost it's like you giving up on your person. So it's like. You didn't gave up. You like do what you want. You know how like you be in an argument and then you be like, well, whatever you say, or um, you can believe what you want, cause I ain't finna do this. It's like you didn't gave up, uh, g uh, giving up on your um, in this situation, but just almost like you're prey. So because you didn't gave up on your relationship, maybe people are um, this could go two ways. Maybe people are looking at you and like, why you gave up on this on this love? Like, why are you? Um, why you not uh, running? Why you not? Because this person, with all these wolves here, you're supposed to be running for your life, right? But it's like, people, they looking at these, I feel like these are people looking at you like, what is you doing? Why are you giving up? Or why are you so, why, or do you believe in yourself so much that you gave up and you believe in yourself that I can lay right here in the middle of all these wolves, ain't nobody going to touch my ass. And same thing, my girl, my dude, they can do the same thing. I try, like, ain't nobody gonna touch it. That's mine. But that's kind of like what I'm getting from this card is like you saying like, I'm not, I'm not fearing nothing. I'm giving up. I kind of like I gave up, but I'm not fearing you. You know, even though like I want this relationship, I'm wanting a hot, a positive outcome. But I'm not gonna argue with you. I'm not gonna go through this with you. I'm just gonna lay here. And wish a bitch would, or wish a, a dude would, you know? Like, excuse my language, I'm sorry. But you, like, that's, you just question, like, you so securing yourself, like, you know ain't nobody gonna touch you. You're also looking for appreciation here. It's like, why are you having this argument? Why are you having a lot of issues? Because you're, you're, you're looking for appreciation you feel like this person is not appreciating you 
but this is a love i mean this is a soulmate tied here so and you may be feeling like it's a little karmic or something but it's definitely a soulmate here and it's like sometimes when it's twin flame there's a lot of bumpiness and it's not easy and i feel like that may be the case with you guys is that this is a twin flame relationship and you want your lover because you you're basically trying to give your lover this heart and or you guys are sharing this heart and it's like look this is bringing out the sunlight in this heart again that's another sun because you want to that's the second sun you want a positive outcome here but it's like you basically want to share your love with this person right you want to share this person you uh share your love you got this happy outcome it's a rainbow you're happy but it's like you, you tell this person you're going to appreciate me you're going to respect me and I'm not going to argue with you. And, I, you know, you're wishing that you can get past that point. You also have the thinking woman. So you're thinking about, and I feel like this is you, even if you're a man or a woman. You're definitely thinking about, um, sorry. You're definitely thinking about um, this person. You're thinking about everything that you've gone through, and you kind of like you're not seeing the tr you're not seeing the truth of it, the truth of a situation. And the reason why is kind of like you're, this person is blindfolded. They're stand this person blindfolded, strapped up, and they got he's sit sitting here by this um, these fly. I mean, I mean his swords and stuff, and he got this fire behind him. And all he gotta do is walk forward. But you're not walking anywhere. It's like you feel it's an illusion of being trapped. And you're not trapped. The situation is not trapped here. Uh, and that's what you're thinking. You're thinking, your mind is thinking that you're trapped. And you're not. If you want to, you know, if you don't want to be in this situation, you don't have to be in this situation. If you want to fix this situation, you can definitely fix the situation. You definitely have the power to do that. This relationship is giving you a little anxiety for some reason. It's like you're thinking so much that it's like you're so deep in your thoughts that it's providing anxiety. But you kind of just want to move forward. You kind of want to just have this calm moment and, um, and you know, plant your seed, seeds while planting and stuff like that. It's kind of like, you know, you planted good seeds and, but you kind of like, you kind of just want to tend to the garden and don't want to deal with the drama. So this person, they kind of like, they're not focused on all the drama in their life. They just trying to make sure they plant good seeds and make sure that they move forward. This is a woman holding a coin. So this means that you got the power. Money is power. And it's like you have the power to do what you want. You may have some coins coming your way. And the thing is, I see that you are wishing upon a star. You kind of wishing upon, like hoping things um, work out a certain way, and every, anything like basically this card is telling that there's going to be a positive outlook. You see that star here? It's like that's good things coming to you. Like you're going to get what you wish for. So it's like, and it's like, it's kind of like this person's kind of getting a little tired because they pour, they almost like, okay, I'm gonna pour out my, just pour it, pour it out. But it's like I'm, I'm gonna have a little faith. And I'm going to continue to wish upon this star and hope that, uh, wish that things get better for me. So I definitely see that things will get better. It's just that you're having a little anxiety right now about this relationship because you want good things out of it, but it seemed a little hard. It seemed a little, you know, a little difficult. But I see that is you hold the power in this relationship. Whatever you want, you will get. So you definitely hold the power. Um, you guys, um, that is going to be your reading. So if you want a personal reading, you can definitely click on the link below and um, book a personal reading. Also, if you want, please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Thank you.